discussed here. Did you ever text something that you wish you could delete forever? Yes, I have. New at 10, for you, right now, local police want a law requiring text messages to be safe for two years. All rise, the judge is here. He, by the way, look at page 278 of this book, Theodore and Woodrow, How Two American Presidents Destroyed Constitutional Re Freedom, which is... Okay, okay, okay. Well, to page is that the only page worth reading, page 278? As a matter of fact, it is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You're so, a literary critic now. Save texts. For two years. Oh, I know a lot so of texts you've can... sent me, which you hope I haven't saved. <laughs> so, what, this is a privacy issue, isn't sure, it? Sure, it's a privacy issue. And, you know, it's very unusual that the uh, police uh, are asking for this. And when we say the police, this is a national organization, a charitable foundation, if you will, that represents the interests of uh, police. It has a charity arm and it has a, a lobbying arm. And the lobbying arm is asking for this. But just last week, the Senate passed legislation, hasn't gone to the House, so we don't know how the president will, uh, will uh, f it will fare with the president if it passes the House, that says if the police want these texts and emails, they have to go to a judge and get a search warrant. You know the way well, things used to work from the time of the Constitution up until yeah. the time of the Patriot Act. The changes, the post-9-11 uh, changes would be wiped out because it will require a search warrant. But this doesn't make them easier to get. This requires companies at their own expense to keep them there so that they're mm. there if the police do get the search warrant. So, so it's a search warrant. So the privacy issue is kind of negated because they've got to get a search it's warrant. Really just a like for everything it's else. really a privacy issue and a business judgment issue with the telecoms. Question, who is the government to tell them how to keep their records? Answer, the government wants to make its own job easier, so it's going to say hold on to right. these right, things but, for two well, years. So. Say, say Stewart is at that casino in Macau, and he <laughs> takes a picture, or someone takes a picture of him, he texts it, and there's a criminal next to him. I'm not saying he hangs around with him. I'm saying that the photo could be used in a court case. Couldn't AT&T or Verizon say we need that photo, so thus we own the photo because it was transpired across country lines on our phones. You mean, couldn't the government say they couldn't need the Couldn't the AT&T say it's our property, it's our business well, property? Well, it, it is AT&T's uh, business property. Uh, the government is just saying you have to keep it longer uh, than you want. Look, I, I oppose personally, because I think the Constitution doesn't authorize, the federal government interfering in the operation of a private business. The government can keep its own records for however long it wants. The government can keep its own emails and texts for two years, but it can't tell AT&T without compensating it to engage in an expensive proposition that doesn't adv advance its shareholders, its stock equity, or its message. But by the way, mission. if there's a letter that's sent, it's not the property of the U.S. Postal Service. It's still the property of the person who sent the letter. Yes. Isn't it the same for messages? Uh, unfortunately, no. I mean, I agree. With, I agree with you. But the government has taken the uh, position that because the letter is no longer in the physical custody of the post office but the email is somewhere digitally in the custody of the telecom, that the telecom you know, can be told how long to get We've said this before, smart. we always come back to this, a letter is still the most private form of communication. Yeah, that's is true. It, is it, is, I think it is. All right, I'm, I'm going okay. to upset you. There is a federal statute that prohibits the FBI from reading your mail without a search warrant. The government doesn't enforce the statute. It reads the mail anyway. Okay. You're not upset me. Okay. <laughs> yeah.